Hello everyone, welcome you all in second session of complex analysis. In this session, we deal with complex integration. Before uh, actually going towards the complex integration part, just recall some basic terminologies which are very important in complex integration. For example, if z is any complex number of the type x plus i by and z0 is fixed complex number x0 plus i by 0 then mod of z minus z0 equals to r represents circle because we know that subtraction of two complex numbers z minus z0 is again a complex number so here z minus z0 means x minus x0 plus i into y minus y0 and its modulus means square root of x minus x0 square plus y minus y0 square using definition of modulus square root of real part square plus imaginary part square and then squaring both side we get x minus x0 square plus y minus y0 square is equals to r square which represents circle centered at x0 y0 radius r or we can say that mod z minus z0 equals to r represents a circle whose center is z0 that is x0 y0 and its radius is r so it is very important terminology for complex integration now using this technique second one is mod z less than r so here z0 is 0 so we can say that it is again a circle but there is no equal to sign it is just less than r so less than radius means it is it represents interior of circle whose center is 0 0 and radius is r means interior of circle x square plus y square is equals to r next one now instead of less than we have greater than sign so greater than radius means it represent exterior of the circle x square plus y square is equals to r same as previous one but here equal to sign is also included means we have to consider boundary of that circle too means in short mod z greater than or equals to r represent exterior of circle with boundary next x greater than or equals to 0 so we know that x positive axis means right side of given plane and here we consider complex uh, plane therefore right side or right half of complex plane with y axis because we know that x equals to 0 represent y axis so not only right side but we have to consider y axis also next if y less than 0 then it represent half of complex plane below the x axis but again let me clear there is no equal to sign means it is without x axis so these are very important terminologies for complex integration now next definition is singular point it is also important any point z equals to a it's called singular point if given function f of z is fails to to analytic at that point uh, the singular point is also called as bad point or problematic point or pole for example f of z is equals to 1 by z so observe carefully z equals to 0 is the problematic point for this function because z equals to 0 even though it is finite the function 1 by z becomes infinite for that point and therefore z equals to 0 is singular point for 1 by z similarly in second example 1 upon z minus 1 is the given function so z equals to 1 is the problematic point z equals to 1 is finite but it gives infinite value for given function and therefore uh, it is singular point or bad point for that function now we uh, recall the basic terminologies related to regions and basic definition of singular point so just we have to check whether given singular point is inside the region or outside the region and accordingly we have to discuss about the uh, theorems uh, on complex integration so 
first theorem is Cauchy's theorem and it is very important again a function f of z is analytic within and on given closed curve c then integral over c f of z dz is equals to zero so let me clear if given function is analytic within and on means f of z is analytic in given region only means some uh, bad point or problematic points are there then it is outside the given region or uh, there is no uh, problematic point for that function then we can say that it is uh, analytic within and on closed curve c and uh, in that case integration of such type of function with respect to z on given closed curve c becomes zero for example evaluate integral over c z square dz where c is total complex plane now here f of z is z square and we know that there is no finite point in complex plane which gives infinite image for f of z and therefore it is uh, well defined and also it is differentiable there uh, that means it is analytic within and on given region that is on whole complex plane and according to uh, Cauchy's theorem its integration is zero then second example integral over c dz upon z means function is 1 by z where c is mod z minus 2 is equals to 1 so given region is mod z minus 2 equals to 1 means centered at 2 comma 0 and radius is 1 centered at 2 comma 0 with radius 1 and function is 1 by z so problematic point is z equals to 0 so z equals to 0 it is outside the given region shown in figure and therefore there is no problematic point inside the given uh, region or given disk and therefore given function is analytic within and on closed curve c even though z is equals to 0 is singular point but it lies outside the region and therefore it is analytic and hence by Cauchy theorem we can say that required integral is zero integral over c closed curve c dz upon z is zero so this is about Cauchy's theorem now suppose that there is one singular point or problematic point which lies inside the region then what we do because in that case Cauchy theorem is not applicable so we apply second theorem that is Cauchy integral formula so modified form of Cauchy theorem uh, so firstly we write statement a function f of z is analytic within and on closed curve c except at z equals to a and z equals to a is problematic point or singular point within and on closed curve c means given function is analytic no doubt but there is one problematic point inside the given region then n the derivative of f of a is equals to n factorial upon 2 pi i integral over c f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 dz so this is called as Cauchy integral formula so we apply this formula if given function has at least uh, or just a one uh, singular point bad point and it is located inside the given region for example evaluate uh, integral over closed curve c dz upon z minus 1 so here function is 1 upon z minus 1 where c is mod z equals to 1 so can you guess the region mod z equals to 1 so it is circle centered at 0 0 with radius 1 and what is problematic point for given function z equals to 1 is the problematic point so firstly we draw the region so z equals to 1 it is lies on the bond shown in figure therefore we take a is equals to 1 so z equals to 1 is the problematic point which lies on the boundary of given region so we uh, consider that point as a so a is equals to 1 and therefore 
we have one point inside the given region so applying Cauchy integral formula so by Cauchy integral formula so firstly we write formula nth derivative of f of a is equals to n factorial upon 2 pi i integral over closed curve c f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 dz equation number one now compare this formula with a uh, with required integral so our required integral is integral over c dz upon z minus 1 so we compare that with formula dz upon z minus 1 so substitute a equals to 1 in equation 1 so we get z minus 1 raised to n plus 1 so if we compare that with required formula uh, sorry required integration then we get n plus 1 is equals to 1 and that means n is equals to 0 so we get first value as n is equals to 0 n plus 1 is equals to 1 means n is equals to 0 now give a required function is 1 upon z minus 1 and we have uh, f of z upon z minus 1 raised to 1 means your f of z is 1 next now n is equals to 0 and we required n the derivative of f of a but n is 0 means no derivative means we have to find just f of a so how we get f of a we replace each z in given function by a and here a is 1 so replace each z by 1 but your function is constant f of z is 1 therefore f of any value becomes 1 so f of a is equals to 1 is 1 so substitute all these values in equation number 1 so nth derivative of f of a means just f of a which is 1 equals to 0 factorial n is 0 means 0 factorial is 1 upon 2 pi as constant as it is integral over c f of z is 1 upon z minus a a is 1 raised to 0 plus 1 is 1 dz so we generate that integral and therefore required integral over c dz upon z minus 1 is just shift that 2 pi i towards 1 so it is 2 pi i so required integral over c dz upon z minus 1 is 2 pi i so actually we just compare required integral with formula nothing else there is no need to uh, calculate actual integration second problem evaluate integral over c e raised to z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz where c is again mod z equals to 1 so we already discussed about this region mod z equals to 1 centered at 0 0 with radius 1 and there are two problematic points z equals to 1 and z equals to 2 so observe carefully z equals to 1 it is located on boundary of given region mod z equals to 1 but z equals to 2 even though it is problematic but it lies outside the outside the region means we have only one problematic point on the boundary of region correct uh, therefore we apply Cauchy integral formula with a is equals to 1 which is inside the region or on boundary of region and then compare this equation 1 with required integral so a is 1 so we get a uh, bracket z minus 1 at denominator so compare z minus 1 with z minus 1 so in required function or required integral power of z minus 1 is 1 and in formula power of z minus 1 is n plus 1 so again by comparison n plus 1 is equals to 1 so n is equals to 0 next other than z minus 1 is the f of z so other than z minus 1 in required integral uh, function is e raised to z upon z minus 2 so here, here function is e raised to z upon z minus 2 so n is 0 f of z is e raised to z upon z minus 2 now we required nth derivative of f of a but n is 0 means no derivative no derivative means just we have to calculate f of a but a is again 1 here so we replace each z by 1 so f of 1 is e raised to 1 upon z minus means 1 minus 2 so it is minus e so substitute all these values in equation 1 so it becomes minus e which is value of f of 1 is equals to 0 factorial upon 2 pi i integral over c f of z which is e raised to z upon z minus 2 upon z minus a is 1 1 raised to n plus 1 n is 0 so we get z minus 1 raised to 1 dz so on simplifying 
it is uh, minus e is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i into required integral and therefore required integral is minus 2 pi i e so that is value of um, required integral next problem evaluate integral over c z upon z square plus 1 dz where c is mod z plus i is equals to 1 be careful here given region is mod z plus i so z plus i can be written as mod of z minus of minus i so center is at minus i so how we plot minus i on graph paper so minus i can be written as 0 minus i so its real part is 0 imaginary part is minus 1 so centered at 0 comma minus 1 with radius 1 so we have to plot this region and problematic points are z square plus 1 so when z square plus 1 becomes 0 so instead of z square plus 1 we split that function into two parts z plus i z minus i so simply we get two problematic points z is equals to minus i and z is equals to i but uh, uh, as we already discussed about the region it, its center is minus i and radius is 1 and therefore z equals to minus i lies inside the given region while z equals to i lies outside the given region mod z plus i is equals to 1 means only one point lies inside the given region and that point is z equals to minus i so we say that a is equals to minus i here so again one point inside the region so apply Cauchy integral formula and that is nth derivative of f of a is equals to n factorial upon 2 pi i integral over closed curve c f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 dz equation number 1. So again comparing this equation 1 with required integral this z upon z square plus 1 can be written as z upon z plus i z minus i and a is minus i. So substitute a is equals to minus i in equation 1 we get z minus of minus means plus i. So compare z plus i with z plus i. So we have power of this z plus i as 1 and therefore n plus 1 is 1 again. So n is equals to 0 and other than that is nothing but function. So function is z upon z minus i. z upon z minus i now since n is 0 n the derivative of a means just f of a so we replace each z by a that is minus i so we get minus i upon minus i minus i so it is minus i upon minus 2i so my uh, minus i get cancelled it is just 1 by 2 so substitute all these values in equation number 1 so function at minus i is equals to n factorial n is 0 so 0 factorial upon 2 pi i integral over c f of z upon z minus minus i raised to n plus 1 but n is 0 so it is raised to 1 dz then on simplifying f of uh, function at minus i is half so we substitute that 0 factorial is 1 upon 2 pi i into required integral and therefore required integral is just pi i next evaluate integral over c 10 z upon z minus 1 square dz where c is again mod z equals to 1 so given region is circle centered at 0 0 with radius 1 and problematic point is z equals to 1 so obviously it lies on boundary we already discussed it but here uh, we have z minus 1 square means n is equals to other than 0 so we just uh, think about it so one problematic point z equals to 1 lies inside the given region and therefore we apply Cauchy integral formula so here a is equals to 1 and by Cauchy integral formula we firstly mention the formula and the derivative of f of a is equals to n factorial upon 2 pi i integral over c f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 dz equation for now comparing this with required integral with a is equals to 1 we get z minus 1 z minus 1 in required integral power of z minus 1 is 2 
and in equation number one power of z minus one is n plus one so n plus one is two so n is equals to one other than z minus one square remaining part is f of z so f of z is 10 z and since n is equals to one we have to calculate first order derivative so f dash of z is just 10 and since f dash of z is just a constant number if you replace z by a in that there is no change means f that uh, f dash of uh, 1 is also 10 so substitute all these values in formula uh, of uh, sorry Cauchy integral formula we get f dash of a is equals to 1 n is 1 so 1 factorial upon 2 pi i integral over closed curve c f of z upon z minus a is 1 raised to n plus 1 n is 1 so we get 1 plus 1 2 dz and that is nothing but your required integral so on simplifying we get 10 is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i into required integral so required integral is 20 pi i now what we do if n number of problematic points or singular point lies inside the given region so obviously we have to apply residue theorem in that case but before going to residue theorem we just uh, define Lorentz series so if f of z is any function then its expansion about z equals to z0 is a0 plus a1 into z minus z0 plus a2 into z minus z0 square plus so on an into z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 upon a1 1 upon z minus z0 plus 1 upon a2 1 upon z minus z0 square plus so on 1 upon a n 1 upon z minus z0 raised to n is called Lorentz series of f of z so observe carefully this Lorentz series containing some positive powers of z uh, minus z0 and some negative powers of z minus z0 the positive part is called analytic part and negative part is called as principal part of Lorentz series where a n is uh, sorry there is n factorial a n is n factorial upon 2 pi i integral over closed curve c f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 dz uh, if this principal part means negative part containing n number of terms if principal part containing n number of terms then z equals to z0 is pole of order n if principal part containing only three terms then z equals to z0 is pole of order 3 we also call it as triple pole similarly if principal part containing only two terms then z equals to z0 is pole of order 2 we call it as double pole and if it contains only one term then z equals to z0 is called as simple pole all pole of order 1 so these are uh, some basic terminologies which are useful in residue theorem now we define uh, residue theorem so statement of residue theorem if f of z is analytic within and on closed curve c except some finite number of singular points a1 a2 and so on a n within and on closed curve c then integral over closed curve c f of z dz is equals to 2 pi i into sum of residues or we can say that 2 pi i into r1 plus r2 plus so on rn where r1 r2 so on rn are the residues at problematic points a1 a2 so on an respectively now it is very easy to add the residues and multiply it by 2 pi i to get the required integral but question is how we get residues so to find out residues we have formula so formula number one if z is uh, z equals to a it's simple pole so if z equals to a it's simple pole then residue at z equals to a is given by limit z tends to a of z minus a into f of z and if z equals to a it's pole of order n means higher order then we use formula limit z tends to a of 1 upon n minus 1 factorial 
n minus 1 the derivative with respect to z of z minus a raised to n f of z. So using this find out residues and substituting formula we get required integral using residue theorem. So this theorem is very important in point of view of final examination. So we solve some example based on residue theorem. So example first by using residue theorem evaluate integral over c tan z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz where c is mod z minus 2 is equals to 1. So firstly here function is tan z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 and given region is mod z minus 2 is equals to 1 means circle centered at 2 comma 0 with radius 1 which is shown in figure. So from given function it is very clear that z equals to 1 and z equals to 2 are the simple pole because their powers are 1 so it, these are pole of order 1 means simple pole lies inside the given region mod z minus 2 equals to 1 and therefore two point lies inside the given region means we have to apply residue theorem so call that point as a1 and a2 so a1 is 1 and a2 is 2 so if two point lies inside the given region corresponding to that we have two residues and therefore by residue theorem integral over closed curve c f of z dz is 2 pi i times r1 plus r2 equation number one means we have to calculate two residues corresponding to two points where r1 and r2 are the residues corresponding to 1 and 2 respectively now we know that for simple pole z equals to a formula is r is equals to limit z tends to a of z minus a into f of z but here f of z is tan z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 and a is 1 for first residue so substituting all these values so z minus 1 cancel with z minus 1 and remaining part is tan z upon z minus 2 but there is no problematic term z minus 1 and therefore we can directly substitute z equals to 1 in it and therefore we get r1 is equals to 10 upon 1 minus 2 that is minus 10 similarly we can calculate r2 so r2 is residue corresponding to z equals to 2 which is again a simple and therefore we apply same formula again limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 into function that is 10 z upon uh, z minus 1 z minus 2 so z minus 2 z minus 2 get cancelled so remaining part is just 10 z upon z minus 1 and therefore we can directly substitute z equals to 2 in that so it is 20 upon 2 minus 1 so it is 20 so we get values of r1 and r2 as 10 and 20 respectively so substitute uh, these values in equation number 1 so required integral over c f of z dz is equals to 2 pi i minus 10 plus 20 so it is simply 20 pi i now example second by using residue theorem evaluate integral over c z square upon z square plus 1 dz where c is mod z equals to 1 we already discussed about this function z square upon z square plus 1 which can be written as z square upon z plus i z minus i and given region is uh, mod z equals to 1 which means circle centered at 0 0 with radius 1 so problematic points are i and minus i and a given region is circle centered at 0 0 with radius 1 shown in figure and therefore both the problematic points i and minus i lies inside the given region because i can be written as 0 comma 1 which lies on the circle and minus i can be written as 0 comma minus 1 therefore it lies on the circle so both the point lies inside the given region and therefore we apply residue theorem so two point lies inside the given region therefore we have to calculate their corresponding residues and therefore residue theorem states that required integral over c f of z dz is 2 pi i times r1 plus r2 equation first where r1 and r2 are the residues corresponding to i and minus i respectively now we know that for simple pole z equals to a 
formula to calculate residues limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z so for first point a1 is equals to i first residue r1 is equals to limit z tends to i z minus i into f of z is z square upon z plus i z minus i so here z minus i z minus i get cancelled and therefore the remaining part is just z square upon z plus i so take its limits from z tends to i means substitute z equals to i in it we get i square upon i plus i that is i square upon 2i so when i get cancelled it is simply i by 2 so first residue is i by 2 now in same line we can find r2 so r2 is residue at minus i therefore formula becomes limit z tends to minus i z minus of minus i means z plus i into function is z square upon z plus i into z minus i so z plus i z plus i get cancelled so remaining part is just z uh, square upon z minus i with limit z tends to minus i so if you replace z by minus i in this we get minus i square upon minus i minus i that is minus i square upon 2 in bracket minus i minus i minus i means minus 2 times i or we can write 2 times minus i so 1 minus i get cancelled it is minus i by 2 so second residue is minus i by 2 so substitute this both residues in equation number 1 and therefore required integral over closed curve c f of z dz is equals to 2 pi i times r1 plus r2 here r1 is i by 2 and r2 is minus i by 2 so i by 2 minus i by 2 gives 0 so required integral is 0 according to residue theorem next example number 3 by using residue theorem evaluate integral over closed curve c dz upon z minus 3 square into z plus 1 where c is mod z minus 2 is equals to 1 so mod z minus 2 equals to 1 means circle centered at 2 comma 0 with radius 1 and uh, problematic point for given functions are minus 1 and 3 respectively let me clear here z equals to minus 1 is simple pole because power of z plus 1 is 1 while z equals to 3 is double pole because power of z minus 3 is 2 so we have two poles minus 1 and 3 out of which 3 z equals to 3 lies inside the given region while z equals to minus 1 lies outside the given region shown in figure now even though only one point lies inside the given region still we cannot apply Cauchy integral formula because observe carefully in your question it is mentioned that using residue theorem using residue theorem evaluate the integral so we have to apply residue theorem here now z equals to 3 only one point lies inside the given region therefore according to residue theorem required integral over c f of z dz is 2 pi i in uh, 2 pi i into r only one point lies inside the disk therefore there is only one residue corresponding to it where r is the residue corresponding to a is equals to 3 but z equals to 3 or a is equals to 3 is double pole so we apply formula to calculate residue if z equals to a is pole of order n so that formula is r is uh, residue at z equals to a is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 the derivative with respect to z of z minus a raised to n into f of z at z equals to a but here z equals to a is double pole so we replace n by 2 and therefore the modified formula is 1 upon 2 minus 1 factorial that is 1 upon 1 factorial then d by dz d raised to 2 minus 1 by dz raised to 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so that's why we say that d by dz of z minus 3 square into 1 upon z minus 3 square into z plus 1 so z minus 3 square z minus 3 square get cancelled so we get only d by dz of 1 upon z plus 1 and we know that derivative of 1 upon z plus 1 is minus 1 upon z plus 1 square so replace each z by 3 in that so it is minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 square so it is minus 1 by 16
So substitute this value in equation 1. So 2 pi i into minus 1 by 16. So it is minus pi i by 8. So that is required value of integration. So this is about complex integration. So in simple words, if there is no problematic point for given region or there is problematic point but it lies outside the given region then we apply Cauchy theorem. If only one point lies inside the given region then we apply Cauchy integral formula and more than that means more than one point lies inside the given region which is problematic then we apply Resolute theorem. So use this trick to find out the complex integration. Thank you.